Hello everybody and thank you so much for stopping by on this channel. If you're new to this channel, then welcome. My name is The Fluffy Mane and I like to make some videos about my favorite thing of all time, which is Pokemon. I do make some different kind of videos on this channel, like opening up some Pokemon products to see what we can find in those products. But I also like to play video games like Super Smash Bros and also playing Pokemon Sword and Shield with searching of shiny Pokemon. But what I like to do most is opening up some Pokemon cards. So if you all like all those different kind of content, then don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and also leave the notification bell on to know when I will post some new videos. So thank you all so much. In today's video, I want to open up one of the newer Elite Trainer boxes, which came out from the new set of battle styles. And you do have two variations of these battle styles Elite Trainer boxes, which is the this beautiful red colorish color or the blue variant. So I, this is the single strike Urshifu and then you have also the one with the blue box which is the rapid strike Urshifu. So they're both different because this is the fighting dark type and the other one is fighting water type if I'm not mistaken. So that's why there's a little difference on these two beautiful Urshifus. So let's see what we can find in this cute Elite Trainer box. At the back you can always read some information about what you can see. So we have a lot of things, that's why I do like these Elite Trainer boxes. And then we have 8 booster packs. I know in the Shining Fates one you had 10, because sometimes with the special boxes they give you 2 extra booster packs. And then we have our dividers and beautiful sleeves, and I can't wait to see what we can expect in this beautiful battle styles set. Although I do have seen some in English though, so I do know some of my chase cards. But let's open it up and then let's see what we can find in the booklet to see which beautiful cards we might potentially get in the booster packs. So let's see. I'm also not really sure what the pull rates are now at the moment. So I do am wearing just this little vest right here just to have a little touch of red to <laughs> be a little bit matching with the team of today. Whoa, that does look very red orangey. Ooh, the box stopper does look orange. Okay, so if I just place this aside, just on the inside of the outer box, you can see all the different pack arts from the packs. So I do hope that we have different pack arts in today's video you never know. So that's why I also do like collect the outer boxes too. Then we have our beautiful booklet. So we are going to read that later on. And then if I do check the box right here. So it does look more orange than it does look more than red. So I'm not really sure if I do like it or not. This is more red or pinkish. I think it's more red though. Sometimes I cannot even really see differences between the colors. Sometimes some colors are a little bit harder for me. And then we have the Trading Guard Game Card Rules booklets. So they always give those booklets. So these Elite Trainer boxes are very handy for people who are new into the TCG game. We have our beautiful booster packs. All the energy cards, which you also need to play the TCG. Got here the Sword and Shield Battle Styles Elite Trainer box. Gigantamax Single Strike Urshifu. Gigantamax version. But it's such a long name though, so there you guys go. Here you go, get the code card. Then we have our acrylic burning poison markers. Then we have our beautiful red dice with a new symbol of Battle Styles. And then the four dividers. I'm still not really sure if it's like orangey or reddish or... If you all do know what kind of color it is, then please let me know. And then we end off with the beautiful sleeves right here. They really look pretty. So then the box is empty. Then we have our eight booster packs. We do have Tyranitar and Polion. That's the Rapid Strike Urshifu and then the Single Strike Urshifu, what we are opening up today. And then we do have every pack art. So we do represent the rare Single Strike Urshifu. We only get one pack. Going to open that one last. 
and then we have our booklet so let's see what we can find oh, I could cricket do and all the beautiful gold cards which I do like the level ball though because they have the like the metal ball as well then we have there the beautiful hound doom and the octillery and mustard rainbow so pretty really pretty if you do see that this is my chase card which is cheryl because my favorite color is green so i would really like to see if we could pull the beautiful cheryl and a lot of people also do like the tyranitar right there and i really wanted to pull cheryl and houndoom i think that those are my two chase cards from the set and oh look at mimi look at mimi cute there and victini and oh it is really such a pretty set with so many different Pokemon as well. Let me meet you there. So that is very handy to have like this guidebook to see what kind of cards you can potentially pull in those packs. So let's open up the packs and then see what is inside. I'll do three from the back because if we have just an energy card matching a regular rare card, I will give an extra code card away or if we have a rare reverse or a hollow or better. So let's see what we have. Start off with a Weeping Bell, Ndidi, Swordward and Shieldbird, <laughs> Pachiritsu, Chimeco, Honech, Horsey, Mankey with the single strike just right there. Then we have Rapid Strike just right there with the reverse of the Tower of Waters. Oh, and look at the symbol there. I'm not really sure what the E and the Ds mean, so if anybody knows, then please let me know. And then we start off with just a regular Marowak. Do we have a fighting energy? No, a fire energy. That's okay. It's only the first pack and I don't have anything from this set yet. So that's why it's always nice to open up all the Elite Trainer boxes if you're able to. There you go. Code card. Sword of Shield Battle Styles because then everything what you get is always new and refreshing. And then let's open up the next pack. They do feel a little bit looser, those new sets, than the normal ones. So let's see if we have here a Crawdont, Double Eight, Cacturn, Galarian Slowpoke, Fomantis, Remorate, Cubo, Ponyard, we got a reverse common licky tongue and just a regular electivire with a lightning energy look at that so we do have the regular rare card with the energy card so that means i'm going to give you first the code card of battle styles there you go and then because we have the regular rare matching the energy card I have a code card of Team Up. And then let's open up the next pack, which is Empoleon, which I think it's a pretty one. I think I'm going to have Piplop as my starter Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl. So I'm wondering what all your starters will be. So let me know. Three from the back. And then we have here a Escape Rope, Towers of Waters, Luxios. That's pretty. Ah, oh, we have the crochet Zubat. I like those crochet ones. Wish that I could make those two. I do knit, but I cannot uh, crochet, unfortunately. We do have a Remorate. And then the Sleeping On. I'm not really sure if it's really sleeping though, or that it's like looking sneaky with his eyes. I'm not really sure. Then we have the Mawal Single Strike. Cheruby. Reverse Uncommon Seedra, which if it's popping out of his Pokeball or somebody trying to catch this beautiful Seedra. And Vivian! We do have the beautiful Vivian with a middle energy. Uh, I haven't seen the Vivian anymore. I did like the fact that they had like different patterns on there with when we had X and Pokemon X and Y. I wish they did that with Butterfree too because I do have a weakness for those beautiful butterfly Pokemon. And Vivian, it was pretty. Got the code card for Battle Styles. There you all go. And then let's open up the next pack. Going that quickly already. Halfway through. Three from the back. And then I start with a beautiful Rapid Strike Carnivine. Swordward and Shieldbird, Bisharp, Bellsprout, Mianfu, 
Aw, the cute Yamper with the Pokeball in its mouth. It's so cute card. And Glamio. Then we have the Cora Fish. Got a reverse common timber. And the same box. We get again an Electivire with a middle energy. That's not fair. Why would you do that, Pokemon? Got here a code card for a sort of shield battle styles. There you are. If you're trying to collect all the cards, then it's not fair. You already have a double in your same box. Okay, well, let's check on the next pack. Wondering if we even get a hollow or a third electivire. <laughs> we do have a tapic. There we have Ace Pupa. A single strike style mustard. Wondering how they come up with the name mustard. Then we have a beautiful gold bat. The cute tepic, ah, uh, with big knight right there. Then we have the Glemio, silly cobra. We got a artist. Oh, that's the beautiful hound hour. So I'm guessing it's training itself to just pull out on the string. Then we have Scatterbug. Oh, the fan of ways. That would be a beautiful secret rare too. I like that card. And then we have, oh, the Fickery Bell rare with a leaf energy. Look at that with a leaf energy. That does look pretty. Got here the coat card for battle styles. There you go. And then because we have the matching energy with the rare card, I do have Guardians Rising. There you all go. And then we only have three packs left with the... I wanted to have it my Rapid Strike last. <laughs> and I already opened it up. I opened it up first. <laughs> well, it's okay. Well, let's see what the next pack is going to give us. I do have a feeling that this set with how it does look like is for me just a little bit the same maybe as Rebel Clash. Because with Vivid Voltage you had a lot of extra or feeling that you're having an extra with amazing rares. So let me all know what your thoughts are on this battle style set. So let me all know. And three from the back. Oh, and a Phoebe. I like that full art trainer car too. We had a Heathmore, Fero, Spoink, Frillish, Bellsprout, we have the Onyx, Sparrow, we got a Refers, Rare, Marowak, and just a regular Stone Journer with a Psychic Energy. So we don't have anything really special, no Hollow, no V card yet. Here you go, code card battle styles. But I did pull a rare reverse, so I give you guys a code card of Lost Thunder. There you go. But I still do hope that we pull at least a hollow then maybe from the box. <laughs> because this is uh, not one of the pull rates of what I thought a booster, a elite trainer box would be. <laughs> See, we have here a escape rope. Grumpig, oh look at that art. How beautiful is that and it looks like it's really drawn on. Then we have the Luxio, Sizzlebeat, Shinx, Cacnea, Ponyard, Timber, and then we have the common Chimeco Reverse and we do at least have a Hollow Colossal. There we have it, look at that. That looks so pretty. <laughs> with a fighting energy as well. Look at that, that looks very pretty. At least I can sleeve something up. There we go. I have a code card for Sword and Shield Battle Styles. And then because we have our beautiful Colossal, I gave a code card for Team Up. So I'm not really sure what the last booster pack can give us. I do hope a little bit on some last pack magic. I'm a little bit speechless, I think, because normally I might always pull a V-card or something. It's eight packs and I'm just a little bit surprising to see that it's not uh, a box with, well, often pulls though, because I'm not really sure what the pull ratios is, but I. I'm not really sure if I can remember to have a box 
like this. So let's see if the last pack is still willing to give us anything new. <laughs> so let's see because everything that I already have pulled is new except that we have a double electrifier. <laughs> so we have a Weeping Bell, Experience Share, Perugly, that's a beautiful card. We will have a Mankey, Sizzle Beat, Feltoy, Timber, Corefish. We got a Reverse Uncommon Crawdont, just evolving after this regular Corefish. And then our last pack is just a regular Eggy Slash with a water energy. Although that Eggy Slash looks relaxing though. So I'm giving you all the last code card for Battle Styles. So with this Battle Styles box, left Elite Trainer box, let's see what the Grand, what our eight packs gave us in this Elite Trainer box. I'm not really sure how to start though. <laughs> we do have two regular Electrifier Rares. We have just a regular Rare Marowak, Vivian, Victory Bell, Stone Journer, and Eggy Slash. The only hollow that we've pulled in the whole box. No fee, but only one hollow is this colossal fee hollow card. This box was really surprising. <laughs> so even for me, I'm not really sure if anybody else has like, well, you always have luck if you can open up anything in my opinion. So I'm very grateful that I can, but I was just hoping maybe for something a little bit more than just one hollow from my Elite Trainer box because they're not that cheap though. <laughs> So I do hope that you all had more luck in your boxes if you were able to. I really want to thank you all so much for watching. If you do like this kind of surprising videos with not knowing what the pull rates are from specific boxes, then don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and also place some comments below or your feedback on what you like of these videos. I want to thank you all so much for watching and then I hope to see you all in my next video. Thank you all so much.